to my channel as you can tell by today's video title i'm getting a port put in today i'm having port surgery this morning it's about 6 30 right now i don't have to leave until 8 30 but i got up a little early just because i'm like kind of anxious i was i've been putting this off for a while but now it's just to the point where it's something that i need to do and that's what we're doing so i'm just gonna kind of vlog that and then like the recovery, all that fun stuff, and yeah, so that's where we are now, we're just kind of waiting. That's what we're doing. So now it is 8.30, um, my parents are on their way, we're about to head to the hospital. This morning I just kind of got my cat ready to chill for the day, got the apartment ready, kind of cleaned up a little bit, and then just hung out with Pepito, and we bought tickets to go to Disney World, so that's fun. And I look super gross right now, but I'm not gonna wear any makeup because it's surgery and you can't do that. So sorry about that. But yeah, we're about to head out. After we got all checked in, we just went back to this pre-op area and they let my mom come back with me so we were just kind of hanging out and getting ready and I will see you on the other side. We did it. Sorry for the weird ankle, but I don't really want to lift up my arm. But yeah, so I'm home now. As you can see, the port placement went really well. You can kind of see one of my incisions right there. My neck is a little more sore than my chest right now. I'm kind of numbed up on my chest. Um, but it's wearing off on my neck a little bit. So sorry, I'm talking kind of slow and strange but yeah so the procedure went really well everyone was super nice um so for my poor placement i had it done at a hospital where i was it was in interventional radiology so i was supposed to be consciously sedated for the procedure um i don't know if it's because fully the eds or just how my body works the conscious sedation did absolutely nothing i was very calm during the procedure or like I wasn't super anxious, but I was definitely fully awake and alert the whole time. They were like, don't be surprised if you don't remember it. Don't be surprised if you forget by the time you get home. But from when I went back there, they gave me the first dose of mellow drugs. Um, and they started doing the lidocaine shots. The lidocaine worked, thankfully. That was great. But I was like, I got a little sleepy for a second, but then I was like fully awake and alert again. I wasn't super anxious though, so whatever they gave me for like anxiety worked. Um, and I had four people in the room with me, the guy who was doing the procedure, his assistant, a radiology guy, and my nurse, and they were all super nice. There was music playing the whole time and it was pretty good music, so that was nice. And then um, when they were doing, so for the poor placement they put, um, they start by putting a needle in your neck after they'd like numb you all up and like a guide wire to place like the catheter that goes into your artery and it's going to connect to the port they place that guide wire under ultrasound and since i was very like awake and vibing with everything um the radiology guy um his name was nick he was very nice we were we were besties he pulled the ultrasound thing over like obviously the like d dude doing the procedure um, the doctor doing the procedure had to see it, but I could see it too. And he was like pointing out like, here's your artery, here's the needle. Cause I told him I was like interested in radiology. 
um, we were talking because if I wasn't going to go into teaching, I was going to go into like radiology tech, stuff like that. And he said his second choice was teaching. Like he got, he majored in education and did the radiology thing. So we thought that was cool. And he was showing me all that stuff. He was super nice. I had like a drape so that I couldn't see what they were doing. My head was kind of like stuck looking left, which was good because I feel like it would have hurt a whole lot more um, if I could see them. And yeah, at one point in time, like after that, they were like checking on me, like, how you doing? I was like, I'm good, but I am not tired. I'm not out of it. I'm fully 100% here. So they gave me another dose of the medicine. And again, I got that like kind of sleepy for a second, but like not even 30 seconds, like the same song was still playing. Like I didn't fall asleep, anything like that. And then I was back to just being like normally awake and like cognizant and all that stuff. So me and my nurse and the radiology guy who was doing the fluoroscopy thing, we're just kind of vibing and talking the whole procedure. And it was interesting because I, the numbing thing helped. I didn't feel the incision. I didn't feel the cuts, but I felt them like stretching my skin and I felt like pressure and that was a very strange feeling because it didn't hurt but I felt pressure and like in my mind I was like oh he's like digging around in my skin making this pocket that this device is gonna go in and I felt them like feeding the catheter through and again like it didn't hurt but it felt pressure and because I knew what they were doing it was just like a weird mental thing like I know that when he was like I heard the guy, like the doctor, ask for a specific type of blade. And I was like, oop, they're about to cut into my chest. Or, um, yeah. It was very interesting. I don't know if I explained that all well, because I am not feeling the greatest. I'm a little orange from the cleaner stuff. But I'm feeling good. I'm still not tired, um, other than just the, I'm a little like, I'm sore. My neck is getting really sore. So I'm going to stop talking. Um... I just took some more Tylenol. And yeah, so just giving a little update. If you want to see it, I'll show you real quick. So here's like a little warning. You're going to see my incision um, right now. So that's what it looks like. There she is. Yep, I'll talk to y'all in a little bit. Um, I'm guessing that this recovery is going to get worse when the lidocaine wears off. But right now we're still numb. Or at least just not in pain, and that we take that as a win. Good morning, guys. It's the next day, and I didn't film anything really after what I did yesterday because after that is when all the numbing kind of started to wear off, and I was in quite a lot of pain yesterday. I couldn't really like sit up or move around. Um, and today it's been a lot better, which is good. Talking is kind of painful on my neck just because of where, like, you can kind of see the line. That's a little painful, so I'm not gonna vlog a whole lot, but otherwise, I've been doing pretty good pain-wise. I've just been taking ibuprofen and Tylenol, so nothing, like, super heavy, and it's been really manageable, and this morning is definitely better than yesterday, so hopefully I'm already just, like, on the mend, and that was the worst I was gonna get. Me and Highs are watching YouTube right now. I blew up this big air mattress and put it next to the couch so that I could put my feet out or like lay down there, but I still don't really want to lay flat because I'm still kind of sore, so I've got this whole setup going. Okay, update. I'm up and walking around, so like I'm doing pretty good. I just sound funny because if you've been here for a long time and you saw when I got my NG tube put in, it felt like I couldn't talk because I had something at the back of my throat. This is a similar feeling. It doesn't really hurt, but I feel the tubing like right there, like under my skin. And it feels funny when I talk. But anyways, I came on here to say I'm at a coffee filter, so I couldn't make myself coffee this morning, which is so sad because I didn't get coffee yesterday morning because I had the surgery. So I ordered some little hash browns and an iced coffee from Chick-fil-A. And I'm very excited about it. Absolutely just, oh, I just spilled salt all over myself. That was delicious delicious i made a good choice yes my like five dollar breakfast cost ten dollars because i got a door dashed but it was worth not having to walk down to the clubhouse in my apartment to get coffee because i don't think i can do that quite yet it was worth it hey guys so i'm about a week post-op almost a week actually and things are going much better i'm pretty much fully recovered i've got bit of a reaction going on to the lidocaine scratching itching 
and fun stuff but the surgical pain is pretty much gone at this point i'm still a little worn out it's taking my body a little bit longer to heal just because of some other health stuff i have going on right now but today i got my first infusion with my new port and it went really well it was super easy um i'm thankful for how easy these are going to be now in the future um after uh, you last saw it's been a few days obviously um the pain did get worse and i had a pretty rough couple of days because i tried to do a little too much like a little too much too soon but now we're doing a lot better and yeah so i actually am leaving for minnesota in a few days um yeah i won't be there by the time you see this vlog but thank you for watching and i'm gonna go up to the mayo clinic later this week so get ready for those travel vlogs mayo clinic vlogs all that fun stuff is coming up and yeah all in all port surgery was not bad easy recovery for the most part other than this whole allergic reaction situation going on here but yeah